Shaquita and if you're new welcome and at the end of this video if you feel the need make sure you subscribe and thumbs up this video if you found it very helpful this video might be a little long only because I am reviewing two brands um, but multiple products so the first one will be the LA girl pro color foundation mixing pigments which are these And the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. So if you're interested in seeing how I use these products and my thought process behind them, then please stay tuned. Talk to you later. Hi everyone and welcome to another video. I know this video is like very different um, mainly because I want to do a talk through through this video because it was some products that I personally saw like on Instagram I saw on like commercial well not commercials but just mainly Instagram I guess you can say which is the LA girl pro color foundation pigment mixing mixing pigment I'm sorry and I got all four of them so I was kind of like testing them out with some foundations that seem a little lighter for me so I decided to buy them because they're um, you can custom mix your own shade so some foundations that I brought was too light so I want to buy the pigments to see if maybe it would help the foundations that I already have that I have to kind of like finesse to see if I can actually make them into my actual shade so if you're interested in seeing how I accomplish this please stay tuned well it's in the shade blue and this one is supposed to like neutralize I believe this is to make your foundation in a cooler tone the orange shade this is supposed to make the deeper yeah this is supposed to shift the deeper shades to a warm tone it's the yellow one and this is supposed to shift the lighter shades to a warmer tone and then you have the white shade and the white shade is supposed to lighten most foundation shades okay so I just brought those pigments today but the foundation that I brought in the wrong shade was the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation and this one it on the website it looked like it would be a perfect shade but hopefully you can see this but as you can see like it does great against my well not great but as you can see yeah that's not even close so I'm gonna try to blend that out on my face so you can at least see it let me get my mirror okay hey how you doing so I'm putting this on my face so you can kind of like see and I like to match my foundations to my like chest okay so here's my chest and I'm trying to make sure that it's kind of like spot on but this foundation is to me pulling a little golden and I think on the website it was supposed to be like a cool tone. Either a cool tone or a warm tone. I'll pull it up for you guys. Okay, how do you guys comment below and let me know. Do you think it's a good shade? Because like I said, I like to match my chest to my face. Only because a lot, I mean a lot of the shirts that I wear, I they they like show my chest so that's why it's important for me to match my foundation to my chest now some people prefer even though they may be lighter on their chest than their face some people prefer to have the foundation match exactly 
to their face color. But like I said, most of my shirt shirts reveal like my chest part. So that is why I prefer for my foundations to match my chest. So as you get into makeup um, more and more, because you're always going to be learning and new techniques and new ways and what works for you and what don't, um, just find what works for you. Simple as that. So that is the color Malawi. And let me pull up for you real quick to see what is supposed to be the honor tone of this foundation. Okay, so looking on the website on JuviusPlace.com, it says Malawi, Malawi, M-A-L-A-W-I, I'll put it on the screen. Um, Malawi is for dark skin with golden undertones. So, yeah, I brought the wrong shade by accident. Um, but when I went into Ulta, I... Can you hush? Sit back over there. Over there. Hush. 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 It's an altar. I realized that the shade that I should have gotten was the shade Kenya. And let's see what that one claims to do. What undertone is that one? Let's see if I can find it. Kenya is for deep dark skin with warm golden undertones. Usually I am not in the deep dark section. I'm usually just in the deep section. But every brand is different. So next time, because they are running sales, they're getting ready to have Black Friday sales. So I'll definitely go and pick up the shade Kenya for sure. But for right now, um, I thought this would be a perfect time to test out the LA Girl Foundation Pigment Mixing. So I'm going to mix each of them so you can kind of like get a gist of you know how they perform and how they work so I'm gonna put a little bit of Malawi on my hand and I'm gonna use the orange one only because I need to pull a little red in my foundation and see already it looks like it's getting to be a little a little better now I'm going to try with the blue pigment foundation pigment and let's see what that pulls for okay I got the blue mix Okay, so this is with the blue pigment. And like I said, the blue pigment is meant to give it a cooler undertone for your foundation. And to be honest with you, I think I'm kind of liking this one because it kind of takes away some of the golden out of that foundation. Okay, so we got the warm on this side, the orange corrector with the warm under tone the blue pigment for the cooler undertone and I'm sorry orange pigment for the warm undertone now we're getting ready to do the yellow now this one is supposed to darken up the lighter foundations however I am going to use this to see if maybe I'm guessing it might just uh, pull more gold out of this foundation so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit and then I'm going to put a smidge of that, not a lot, okay, and then I'm just going to mix it with my finger 
and then I'm gonna put it to this side okay so yeah like I said it was gonna pull more gold and it actually looked like it lightened the foundation just a little bit so I'm gonna wipe my hand and we're gonna try out this white pigment and this is just supposed to lighten the foundation tone so again just a little bit and then a smidge of the white And then we're gonna mix. But I do think it neutralized it and made it more of a neutral color. Comment below if you see the same thing. Like this side is with the white and then this side was with the gold. Or with the yellow. So. And then these two sides have dried down a lot. But I'm still going with this side which was with the uh, orange pigment so now that i know that i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go with the orange loose pigment i'm gonna do like my regular face routine which if you haven't seen that i'll link it in the cards below i'm gonna do my regular face routine and then i'll come back with the finished product and then we'll discuss the foundation pigments as well as the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvet Foundation. Okay you guys, so this is the final look for today's video. If you want to see how I created the eye look, then follow me on Instagram. That tutorial on the eyes will be on there. But on this video, I just want to focus on the face products that I mentioned earlier in the video which is the LA Girl Pro Color Foundation um, Mixing Pigment. And the one that I chose to use was the orange, which pulls warm undertones into the foundation. Now, with the pigment, I will say, even though it looks good on camera, off camera, this, I don't know if maybe I added too much or what, but between the warm and the golden undertone, it didn't work for me. I'm going to try to keep using it and finessing it to see what's the solution I do think they they work I know for a fact they work but it was just for today's makeup look I felt like I had to work a little hard to make it work and and thank God you know with the concealer and the face powders I believe it kind of helped it work for my skin complexion so yeah the foundation is awesome definitely 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 full coverage I like the fact that it's not drying though even though it's full coverage and matte it's not drying um, which is why they probably call it velvety matte foundation because it is velvety which kind of still gives you that moisture and if you're a dry skin babe then just make sure you moisturize really good up under your foundation would be would be my only suggestion to you so yeah this is the final look i hope you guys really enjoyed the video again i'm gonna keep playing with these um to see how to finesse it to see how to use it properly i didn't watch anybody else's reviews on these neither did i go on la girl um, I believe their makeup artist did like a little video I guess showing you how to use these so I'm gonna go back and look and see what she suggests to get the best use out of these and until then I will see you on the next video.
拜。